Hi there. I'm Rick Busby, licensed Unity teacher here at Unity Church of the Hills. And I want to invite you to join us this Sunday for part one of a two-part series that we're calling Spiritual Resiliency. What the series is really about is practicing the fundamentals of unity to make a practical difference in your life. Now, unity actually began in 1886 when Myrtle Fillmore, along with her husband Charles, attended a lecture by a metaphysician, Dr. E.B. Weeks. And at that lecture, Myrtle heard Dr. E.B. Weeks say something that changed her life and ultimately changed mine and yours as well. What she heard was, I am a child of God, therefore I do not inherit sickness. And this was very profound for Myrtle because at that point in time in her early 40s, she had been living with tuberculosis all of her life and expected to die from tuberculosis. But when she took this affirmation in and began to practice that principle, I am a child of God, therefore I do not inherit sickness. And she made this her mantra. And over the course of about two years' time, she healed herself from tuberculosis. She went on to live for another 40-something years after that. In my own experience in the mid-90s, I was in a similar circumstance where I was going through the midlife crisis, so to speak, working in the corporate world, being very successful, but I was depressed inside, and I had developed adult-onset asthma. In 1995, I attended my first Unity service in Houston with my mother, and she introduced me to a book by Louise Hay, Heal Your Mind, Heal Your Life. And in the back of that book, there's a chart that goes through various kinds of diseases that we can manifest. I quickly looked up asthma. Next to the asthma was the belief that I was carrying fear of the future, an inability to breathe in life. That pegged me directly. I understood that because that's exactly how I felt. I was afraid of the future. So I began practicing the principles in this book. And over the course of about a year, I've noticed one day that I was no longer experiencing asthma. One day I was digging around the bottom of my backpack and I found my asthma inhaler and realized I hadn't hit it in over six months. I realized that I no longer had asthma. I threw the inhaler away and have never had an asthma attack since. Later, when I came to Unity Church of the Hills in 2001, I began taking classes, and I learned more deeply the practice of the principles of unity with regards to healing, prosperity, affirmative prayer, meditation, and I brought these practices into my life, and it has changed the quality of my life, and it's given me the resilience to bounce back from the stresses that the world can bring. So I want to invite you to join us this coming Sunday and next Sunday for part two as well, spiritual resilience as we talk about unity's fundamentals, the principles, the 12 powers, and all of the kinds of things that as we practice them, they will make a profound difference in our life. I hope you'll join us and I look forward to seeing you there.